Hi everybody, welcome back. I know, long time, no see. Uh, so, I thought today we would do a St. Patty's Day look. Uh, just an eye look, the rest of my base is already done. So we'll do a little bit of chit chat and I'll try to get through this without doing any speed up. So we'll kind of do it in real time. That way we can do some chit chat, get caught up, all that jazz. So for today's St. Patty inspired look, and I do have my St. Patty's Day t-shirt on. Is this not freaking adorable? Charming. Lucky. Charming. Lucky. <laughs> I picked this up at Walmart. It was only like, I think $10 or something. It was so cute. I saw it there. I was like, yeah, I have to have that for St. Patty's Day. So again, we're just gonna do some chit chat. You know, what's been up? Why have I kind of been MIA? All that fun stuff uh, and we're gonna do an eye look as we go so for that today I'm using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette so if you have this palette you can play along but without further ado let's get into this so if my camera I feel like when I'm looking at my viewfinder that I'm looking a little crooked ish I might be if I am I so apologize for that but it's been a little while since I filmed so Kind of got to jump back into this. Um, I'm going to get started off. I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm using the e.l.f. liner primer sealer stick. So I'm just going to set it. Um, I usually would do it with the eyeshadow in the palette. But I really don't have a matte fleshy toned colored one. So I'm just going to use uh, some of the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And just kind of, you know, just go over my eyes and set my primer a little bit. I know some people don't set eyeshadow primer, but for me, I find it works the best. And it doesn't matter what primer I use, I always set it. So it's not just like the e.l.f., it's like all of them. Now with this palette, because I've used it several times, I do know I'm gonna probably get some fallout. Uh, it tends to happen with this one. It's really, it's really good palette. It's really good and pigmented, but it, it's just, it's just gonna give me some fallout. So I'm gonna lay down a little bit more translucent setting powder here. That way I can just um, sweep away any powder or shadow that falls down. So let's get into it and then we'll get to talking. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing a greenish look because it is St. Patty's Day, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the show started uh, with the uh, shade here, Riff. It's kind of, um, it's a really warm, toned brown almost kind of like one of those orangey brown colors and i always think those just go really really good with green i'm going to use that uh with my i'm going to try and remember to tell you my brushes too that last one was the elf what are you i have no clue oh yes i do it's the flawless concealer brush i've never ever used it for concealer i've always used it for my eyes yes it has tape on it because i've had this brush forever and it kind of just came off, so I just taped it one day. And I've had this tape on here for, oh, I don't know, probably about three, four years. I'm just never gonna get rid of this brush. It's not gonna happen. But what I am gonna use to blend it, uh, this is a Sigma E25 blending brush. A uh, shout out to Sigma. They actually sent this to me, along with a really fat discount. Just out of the blue, I got like this email from Sigma, and they're like, hey, we wanna send you some samples, you know? What's your address? And you know, at first I was kind of like, mm, you know, why is Sigma sending me something? Um, and how did you get this email? <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Um, but then, you know, I kind of looked at it and it looked really legit. And you know, like the link and everything took me back to Sigma's website. And you know, it didn't like go through any of those like, you know, redirects or anything like that. So I said, well, seems legit enough. Hey, what's the worst? They'll have my address and come find me. Good luck. Um, and I did, and they sent me this brush and some brush cleaner and the most adorable tiny brush cleaning mat I've ever seen in my life. Plus a 40% off discount code. So, uh, yeah, shout out to you Sigma and thank you. So really I'm just working this into the deep part of my crease. It's just kind of like the way I like to do it. Just, you know, get some color laid down. But enough of talking about brushes. I'm going a little bit more. I say enough about talking about brushes, but I'm still going to talk about this. I have a patch right here in my eye for those of you who have not seen me struggle with this before. That um, It's an old scar. It's not a wrinkle or anything. It's an old scar. I was in a car accident and this side of my head hit a windshield. 
and um so it just it it does not like to pick up and hold on to product um it's just the texture there is just really it's different so you know i think we all have those spots too so a lot of times i will actually go in and just kind of stamp the color in just because that i know that like that spot just does not like to hold shadow whatsoever so i think i got that in that crease oh, that looks pretty darn good and even so i'm going to move on now to the shade weekender here and um we're going to just blow out some transition area with that so i have been mia for a while it's it's been a good while since i put a video up and to be quite honest it's not for any one reason it's been a series of reasons as to why i haven't just haven't had time to sit down and film a video or i don't want to say it not only had time but just didn't have the desire to but i don't want that to come off as like a negative connotation like i just didn't want to make videos because that's not it um, I do suffer from, it's called seasonal affective disorder, um, or SAD, S-A-D-D, -D, I for, I don't know, I'm, for, I'm missing a letter in there somewhere. Anyway, um, it doesn't cause me to be depressed. I don't, I don't ever have any, like, bouts of depression. I mean, we all get, like, depressed from time to time, but not, like, anything that's been, like, a debilitating. If anything, for me, I have... An anxiety issue because I have OCD um, and I'm just working this through the transition area this is a lab square just blending in brush I don't even I'm not so sure you can really even find these anymore they're really good brushes though I've had this one for oh gosh I don't know probably about five or six years but basically um it's not that I've been depressed it's just uh when we we didn't get like a, our break we usually get like a little bit of break in the weather around January, February, and then so it'll warm up for a little bit, and so the sun will be out, and I'll have, you know, a little bit more vitamin D in me, and I'll feel a little bit better, but it's just been a nasty, cold, horrific winter here in the Midwest with ice storms. I've been stuck at work because of ice storms, like, liter literally could not leave because there was, you know, it was just ridiculous. I mean, we're talking like on my drive home later that day, once the uh, the temperature rose enough for the ice to melt some, there was like 12 cars on the side of the road. The whole point of that being is that I think I was just kind of at this, bleh. like I didn't, I didn't want to do anything. Basically, I wanted to just like sleep all day and that's it. You know, watch TV, sleep. Uh, and it wasn't because I was depressed or anything. It's just, I think it's honestly, it's just the lack of sunshine and warmth that does it to me every year but this year it just seemed a little bit more intense because it just has been so cold for so long and now we're finally starting to turn the corner on that after we just had this last ice storm anyway kind of on that tangent with weather and everything I think that's kind of what caused me to just kind of be in this bleh mood so I kind of didn't want to film and then um I'm gonna go in let's move on this is the uh, Sony Kashuk number 106. It's a small eyeshadow brush. I don't think they make this one anymore, but they do make one kind of equivalent to it. Um, and I'm going to go into the shade here, Wanderlust, which is our pretty greeny shade. And we're going to pack and sweep that across the lid as I talk. So there goes the fallout. Ooh, this, this shade does give me some fallout, that's for sure. Uh, so anyway... I've also had some other stuff going on. My uh, little niece, my doodle, she is nine. Um, she has, poor child, um, just got sick as ever. She's been in the hospital for two weeks now. Meningitis, no joke. Uh, poor child is just, you know, sick as ever, but she's turning the corner now. She's doing so much better. Um, I had announced it, I think, to like my um my friends over at the geeks and beauties community but we just really didn't post it onto social media much um just i think to kind of keep it private because you know people are horrible anymore they're just horrible people 
and you know you're posting you're asking people you know hey can you send out some positive energy you know prayers whatever you're fancy whatever it is you do and you're gonna get the group of people to be like well blah 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 you know like there's something you can do to prevent meningitis it just happens it all started with a simple sinus infection and of course the camera battery ran out so we have to start all over i've only gotten so far on this eye so we're not getting anywhere too fast <laughs> Anyway, she's just been, you know, horribly sick, um, beyond, like, anything. And so that's kind of put me in a funk, in a mood, you know, because, you know, I'm worried about her. I, I didn't go up to the ICU to see her because, um, I've been sick as well with a sinus infection. And those little people in hospitals, oh my gosh, they will get you sick quick. Plus, it's no good me coming up there being sick. She's already sick me getting her more sick you know I, I wouldn't do that you know we facetimed and you know of course they get you know you know daily updates and everything on her and she's not far from me where I work um so you know I had announced at work you know like hey <laughs> something goes down I, I've got to take off you know and uh you know of course they're of course very understanding but good news is uh she's pulling through very well she moved yesterday from the ICU to a regular room so that's good but to be honest she probably has another couple of weeks to go in the hospital she's got a lot of physical therapy meningitis does a lot um it can do a lot of damage she did unfortunately have seizures during it so that can also do a lot of damage so she's doing some physical therapy some occupational therapy and i'm talking and not telling you i'm going into the shade good one here i'm pressing that on the outer corner uh this is a luxie precision shader brush um it's my my favorite outer corner brush and i literally just press this on and then i'll i'll blend it here in a minute and we might actually switch colors here again too i like to deepen my outer corner and then you know play around so we're going for like a dark green, you know, kind of like a smokier take on St. Patty's, Patty's Day, if I could talk today, if you will. So for all of you that did, and I've I've already I've expressed it, but you know, just in case I didn't, I cannot talk today. Just in case I did not express it enough that um, our family's most deepest and heartfelt gratitude to you. If you did give her positive juju, prayers, vibes, if you want to still continue to do that. Um, she is nine. She is my doodle-oodle. That's my nickname for her. Um, you know, and you know, that, that little thing right there is my heart. That's my bye-bye. So I appreciate, you know, any, you know, thoughts, prayers, what have you, whatever it is you do, you know, whatever your juju is, I'm good with it. We all have our own type of voodoo however you want to call it i try to be as inclusive as possible to all <laughs> um and i um, i'm not picky i'll take it you know you know whatever whatever you want to send out to the universe we will be more than happy to take it so i'm just gonna go back over and blend this out some more i'm taking some more of that uh shade weekender just kind of you know make sure we don't have any harshness up here okay, so this is gonna go kind of green smoky saint patty's day eye so now I'm going to, I think I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer light to this. Because, I mean, I want it kind of green and dark and smoky. But also, you know, I like my brightness. So I'm going to come in here and uh, I've been kind of swatching here. I think I'm going to hit the shade Blaze. Um, it's got a little bit of an oranginess to it. So I think that'll work out. I'm going to hit that on my inner corner. Going back into that same little Sonya Kashuk brush. I just cleaned it off. So I'm going to take that on the inner corner and kind of sweep it up on the lid a little. Might sweep it up on the lid a lot and kind of pull it up to make it fade into that green. Yeah, I think I kind of like that. I think I like that. I don't know. We'll see as we get in further. Might change it up. So other than that, not a whole lot has been going down. Um, I've just been, you know, it's just kind of like the space I was in, you know, I, I just wasn't in a good space for filming, you know, cause I just kind of felt kind of blah. I, I still don't feel like a hundred percent, but I am getting there. 
and I will be. And again, like I said, it's nothing really, um, I don't want to alert or alarm anybody. Um, it's not that deep. It's just, um, it's just like something I sometimes go through. And this time it was just a little bit harder to get over. And again, I think it's, I'm 99% sure it's just because the weather was so crappy and, um, it's coffee time for me right now. Mm -mm. And, um, that just puts me in a bleh, kind of phase and I just, I really just don't want to do anything. I'm going to sit there. I want to watch TV or I want to play my Sims and I don't want to do anything else. <laughs> and that's pretty much how it's been. Like with everything, you know, go to work, come home, do that all over again. Which, um, I know with some people that can be a red flag, but, you know, I know me, and honestly, it's just kind of, just kind of one of them things, but I'm back filming again, and I do feel good doing it, so, but I definitely wanted to let you guys know that I am still here, and everything is okay. I'm going to take my Luxie Flat Definer Brush here, and I'm going to go into the shade Good Is Gone, which was the one I put in the outer corner, and we're going to run that along the lower lash line, just between the lashes, that's how I do it. I prefer to use powders as liner rather than liner. Um, it's just something I uh, like to do. Powder is a little bit more forgiving. I think it gives a nice softer look. I don't, I don't like to look too harsh. So nowadays, um, I do still, of course, use black eyeliner from time to time. But I much prefer to use... A powder shadow just because I think it gives it a nice softer look so right now I'm just uh, lining my lids and my lower with that same shade using this brush because I love this brush for this it works really well now I'm gonna go ahead and smudge our lower lash line a little bit you I'm gonna go into the shade riff which was the original shade we used in the crease and this is actually one of the ABH brushes that comes with the palette I think this end is I don't know it's not for me but this little end makes the perfect smudgy brush so I'm just gonna go in there and we're just gonna take that below there smudge that out smoke our eye look out a little bit and yeah I really like that that looks good and here we go anytime I get around my lower lash line my eyes start to water because they are so stinking sensitive and they hate everything in me. So now we're going to go up into the shade Broadway here and I'm going to run that. It's kind of a satin finish that's so got a little bit of sheen to it, but I'm going to run that up here in my brow bone. So that is pretty much our eye look in a nutshell. I may add a little bit more highlight or something something right now I'm just sweeping off any of the uh, extra translucent powder that I had on um, that will hopefully get rid of any fallout that we had so as I'm looking at this I kind of feel like I need a little something something here I'm just missing that little bitty something something that I want for this eye look and I think I know what it is so I'm going to hit the shade here, Baja, which is this bright orange. I'm going to go in one little tap with my blending brush I cleaned off. And ever so lightly, I'm just going to hit this border. Like you won't even really be able to tell much. I mean, I'm barely touching the skin as I softly go back and forth. But that did... That did exactly what I wanted it to do. It always does. I love when you take just a really light kind of bright color like this because this one is pretty. It's a pretty darn orange color. Um, but when you take something that's like just really super bright like this and just ever so lightly just hit like the border of your whole transitional look area. But like I said, I mean, I'm barely even touching the skin I'm going ever so lightly and I'm just going back and forth I don't want it concentrated in any one spot almost kind of like a little tiny halo effect and that really ties everything in and makes it just kind of come together I don't think it picks up on camera as well as it does in real life to be honest because I just think the kind of the lighting the studio lighting it just kind of 
takes a little bit away from that. It'd be wonderful if I was a day person and I could just film in daylight. That would be amazing. But, um, you know, hopefully, you know, when summer gets here, it doesn't get dark till like nine o'clock. We will get some daylight filming in. So we're almost there. I've got to pick out something for lips and I've got to do my highlight. I think for highlight, wheelie chair here. Um, how can I go with what I love the most? What I have a really hard time putting away. See, ABH Amorizi highlight. If you were able to get a hold of these when they came out for Christmas time, um, I think they are still kind of out there and available. I highly recommend, let me blind you there. I highly recommend this highlighter because for one, it's going to take you a bazillion years to get through this. Um, it really is. And two, it's, it's just really stunning. It really is. It's, there's just something so special about this one. Like, I'm going to take it really light-handed. Like, yeah, that's ridiculously light-handed there. So, you know, just very light-handed. And so I can show you that it's not necessarily just, you know, to the gods blinding. Like, you can take this really subtle, which you can do this with a lot of highlighters. Actually, every highlighter. If you really think about it but you can take it really subtle and go light on it or you know this ain't patty's day baby we're gonna, we gonna shine to the gods <laughs> i'm gonna take just a little bit of amrezy and hit that inner corner so now i need a lip color i'm gonna go with an orangey kind of um ready color because i usually do when i wear i like that with um green eyeshadow especially saint patty's day i also like a nude but because we're going to saint patty's day we're going to go all out um and this is one i got for christmas this is the um becca this is the one that the lipstick she did with um kylie and what the heck's kylie's friend's name you know i don't know nothing about those people okay to be honest that's that is not in my wheelhouse of things I have information about. I just know that this lipstick is by Becca and it's a collab she did with Kylie and Kylie's friend. The name of this shade is Hot Tamale. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just do, I think I'm just gonna do mascara. I don't feel like putting on lashes. Uh, just cause my eyes are kind of, my eyes are kind of really weepy right now. And my allergies have been like on 10 lately. And by the way, I don't think I said anything about this in the beginning of the video, but does anybody notice anything a little different about your girl here? Yes, I cut my hair. I did last December, if you guys remember, I cut, uh, I think it was seven inches. I cut my hair last month and I cut off nine inches. So again, for those of you who enjoy long hair, if I decide to grow it out, fear not, it'll be back in a year. Um, cause my hair grows at a ridiculously fast pace. CoverGirl Clump Crusher Water Resistant on my lower lash line. It's the only mascara I use down here because it's the only mascara that won't transfer on me because it's water resistant. Um, and my eyes are very weepy. So they, uh, they water all the time. And if a little bit of water hits that tear line, that little lash line there, then I will have mascara everywhere within a couple of hours. So this is the one I use just because it's amazing for this spot. The brush is really good. It's just a really good mascara for this. Now, I don't use it on my top lashes because it really doesn't do anything for those, but um, it does such a good job on my lower lashes. I mean, it really defines them. And yeah, I'm, I'm extra. I use two different mascaras. I use three different primers. That should be no... Yeah, the fact that if I use two or three different mascaras shouldn't cause you any bit of, wow, why does she do that? I use three different primers, two different setting sprays. I use two different concealers. I, I, I use multiples of a lot of things um, because that's what I like to use. That's what works for me. And most importantly, because I can. And so this is it. We are done. This was my finished look for the eye look, which I told you was going to take forever because I was going to talk through it and not speed through as much. And of course, there is some video cut out because there's like air footage of me yelling at dogs to be quiet because that's all they do is bark. And then, you know, I'm pretty quiet when I'm putting on mascara because 
can't like do those two things at one time uh, in a safe manner. <laughs> um, if you have any questions or any requests coming up, are there some eye looks you want to see? I do still kind of want to do a review demo on the new L'Oreal uh, Freshwear Infallible Foundation. If you are still interested in seeing that, please do let me know because I do have that. I've tested it for a very long time now. I bought it like when it first came out and then just, you know, things just kind of went wherever they went. I do have a lot of new stuff that I'll kind of go over. I don't have a haul per se because I've just been kind of buying sporadically and I can't remember what I bought last month or what I bought last week right now. Um, but if there's anything that you guys would like to see, definitely let me know below in the comments. I love to get requests. It helps me out. It gives me ideas on more things to do for you guys, things that you'd be interested in. Once again, of course, I want to thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I truly, truly always do appreciate it. And of course, before you leave, make sure that you are subscribe to my channel. You definitely don't want to miss out on any videos that I have coming up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.